I am sick. I was going to record. I was going to make any videos for a while, but how can I not talk about this? Both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. All right. So, hey, uh, Will Smith smacked the ish out of Chris Rock. Absolutely insane, absolutely wild. Uh, this is this is off the wake up. I'm I'm seeing this off the wake up too. I'm uh, you know I went to bed super early last night. Did not watch the Oscars. Was going to watch the Oscars anyways. I don't do that anymore. I don't watch that. Um, but I was you know I'm just off the wake. I'm I'm I'm, I'm in Instagram. I check the Bible first, verse a day. You know what I'm saying? Glory to God. But then going to Instagram and stuff like that. And immediately I see the first, like the first post is like uh, Chris Rock will not uh, press charges on Will Smith for smack for for assault. I'm like. Whoa, whoa! I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? What's, what's going on right there? So I, I go, I, I'm like, I'm surprised. I keep scrolling. This, you know, not much happens. So regular people post me that everything's about the smack. Everything's about Will Smith and the smack, and seeing what happened, absolutely crazy. So I probably played the clip, but just to go over it again, you know, Chris Rock makes a joke about Jada, GI Jane joke. Can't wait for GI Jane too. Will's laughing a little bit, and he's like, yeah, all right, yeah, that was a good one, okay, all right, you know, Chris says that, and the next scene, he's like, he's like oh, oh, Richard, and, you know, you know, Will Smith comes up and just wallops and smacks him, a strong, good smack, good, good, good posture, good, strong smack, uh, smacks him pretty hard, and he just goes, oh, wow, he just eats it, too, I'm proud of Chris, he eats it, Chris, uh, Will Smith sits back down, he starts cursing, because at, at that point, I'm still thinking, is this fake, is, 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 is this, is this, is this real, is it fake, what's going, what's going on? And it's, it, it seems very much real, especially once he sits down, curses at him. He's like, wow, dude, it was a G.I. Jane joke. He's like, keep your, my wife's name out your effing mouth. So at that point, you know, it gets quiet. It gets awkward. And it seems, it seems very real. It seems very real. I still give it like a 5% chance. 5 to 3% chance is not, it's not real. But overall, I think this is real. So some people are still questioning, is this real? Is this not real? I'm going to give it to it and say that this is real. Um, um, Because to fake something like that is absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, no, it, it seems real. Smacked, seemed real. We heard the sound. Uh, got real, real with the cursing. Um, and, you know, and it's interesting seeing what's happening online. People saying, oh, good Will. Let's go, Will. And, oh, Will, you wow, you messed up. You know, W for Chris. And I have to say, this is definitely a W for Chris. Uh, shout to him for how he acted. Um, you know, he kept, he, he remained professional. He kept his, um, composure. Um, he even says that he's like, oh, I could, oh, but, you know, there's so many great things that people are saying that he could have made jokes after, like, you know, he, he's just mad in March. Imagine how pissed he gets in August, you know what I'm saying? So, and so many different August I've seen and jokes I've seen online, all those are chef's kiss, those are great. Um, but yeah, shout, shout out to Chris. I think this is definitely a W for Chris. Um, Will, you're wildin'. This is too far. Uh... I, I, I don't agree with his actions. Um, I, 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 think, I think this is crazy. This is too far. This is a step too far. I, I understand why he did it. I understand why he did it. But you just cannot do it. And so I see it on Instagram. People are writing for Will. A lot of people are going heavy for him. And then on YouTube, some more intelligent, smart people. No offense. No. <laughs> so on YouTube, people are um, are, are going for Chris and, and, and seeing seeing Will's actions for what they are. And they're, they're wrong. You, you, you should not do that. You 100% should not do that. That, that was out of line. You know, and Will's like this too. A lot of people, a lot of people think Will's just nice. Will's just kind. You know, he's a, he's the he's the super nice movie star. But you know, uh, you know, Will's like Will, Will's from Philly, man. Will's from Philly. I read his book, man. There was a time in Will's life, not just to bring up his past. Why not? There was a time in Will's life when he was just punching strangers. We can't forget about this. In his book, he talks about once he got on, he got some money, he got famous, he got a bodyguard. He felt like he could do anything. If you looked at him any type of way, if he just felt like it, he would punch strangers and beat them up and run away and he had to deal with the you know he had to deal with that and you know some law issues with that um back then but you know so Will, will's about that will's will's not super great not to say he's a bad guy but he's not a super great guy so shout out to chris for keeping his composure i really like what chris did uh you know it's just a gi jane joke i understand you know um shade is dealing with alopecia you stand up for your wife but like i said step too far you know this is one of the craziest things i've seen on television in a while maybe the craziest thing i've seen on television 
Uh, so, you know, we've seen some crazy things happen on the Oscars before. You know, the whole La La Land Moonlight incident was pretty crazy. But this tops it. This is this is probably top one or top three at the Oscars. This is an insane incident. Um, and my mom made a good point. She's like, oh, you know, he went up there. He's kind of like Kanye. But uh, this is, yeah, this is even worse than Kanye. This is crazier than Kanye, you know. Kanye went up there and took an award or, you know, and took the mic and said, yo, Taylor, I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce should have won. If, if Kanye would have done this, the career is over. This, you know, this is this is this is absolutely way more insane than what Kanye did. This is craziness. Um, seeing some people say that you know maybe he might lose the Oscars. Should the Oscars do something? Should they take the award away? I don't know. I personally wouldn't. You know, it's just it's an incident. It doesn't change the fact that he still won the Oscar. But I do understand that you gotta conduct yourself a certain way. So I I really don't care what they do. Who cares? It's a, it's a golden little man, you know. But shout out to Chris Rock. He's W man. He's W man for not pressing charges. Told a joke, got slapped, accepted it. I feel that. I feel that. I appreciate that from Chris Rock. Uh, you know that, that that that's that's W man stuff. Some people say, oh, you know, no, no, you know, you don't make fun of nobody wife. You know what I'm saying? She she's sick. That's a sick woman you're making fun of. It was a light joke. It wasn't too crazy. Even if the joke is crazy, you don't conduct yourself that way. You don't you don't do that. You don't smack somebody. You don't hit somebody. That's elementary, bro. That's a fifty year old grown man. You don't smack somebody, man. You don't you don't do that. That's not the way you should act. Especially if you're a man of Christ, which I believe Will Smith kinda is. Even if you are or you aren't, you should act better than that. You know, that's not a way to to do things, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how many times I gotta say that's not the way to do things. That's what, and some people are like, yo, Will Will's a real dude for them. No, he's not. And hopefully he regrets it. Who knows? But this was not the right thing to do. I will say shout out to the Oscars. I think the three women did well. Tiffany, not Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> Regina Hall, Wanda Sykes, and dang, I forgot the white one, but she did good. Uh, you know, a lot of people hate her. She's kind of chubby. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right there. It's on the screen. I thought she did good. I thought her little small mom did good. I didn't watch the rest of the show, so I can't say what any of them did past the opening part, but I did watch the opening. And I thought they did well. All right, let's get to the rewards, right? All right. I don't really love the Oscars. I think it's kind of a little pretentious and i think a lot of movies are overrated some are good but i think most of them really are good i don't think this is the best of film sure sometimes it's great cine you know, cinematography or great scores to to a movie but i think some of these movies are like what like i think most of them are boring and overrated and I, I don't care but that's just my personal opinion i know some people love them if you love them go crazy and love them you know all right so just to go over things our oscars we got will smith wins best actors first ever oscar man uh, he's got some he's got a few amount of roles to me that could have won you know he's got you know ali was great um, Pursuit of Happiness was great. Uh, I, I might even throw High Legend in there. I know some people go go crazy over that, but he carried the film. He carried the film. It's just him, the whole movie. That's that's impressive. That's all. I throw High Legend in there. Collateral Beauty was underrated to me. Like there's been plenty of performances Will Smith's given over the years. That's like, yo, he should have been nominated. Or he should have been. You know, a lot of this the whole the whole drama over um, you know, uh, Collision. <laughs> Collision. I'm forgetting the name. I'm I, I'm sick. I'm blaming it on my sickness. I got uh, co collision, collided, concussion, concussion. Yep, and I'm speaking like I have one. Uh, con concussion, saying that he should have got the Oscar for that. And I don't know. Should he should? I mean, the accent was it was good. Was it great? I don't know. You know. All right, but he beat out Andrew Garfield. Shout out to Andrew, man. So many, so many Oscar now. So many Oscars now. He's doing great. He's doing a great job, Andrew. Uh, should have got it for Spider Man. No, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, great actor. Javier Bardem, uh, also a great actor. And Denzel, great actor. Uh, I was definitely not watching that Big Bad movie. I saw none of the movies they were in. I almost watched Tick Tick Boom, but I didn't. Best Picture, Coda wins. That's the movie with like like the chick who can hear and play the piano and the parents can't hear. Uh, you know, phenomenal breakdown of the film. There you go. <laughs> uh, it beat out Nightmare Alley, Don't Look Up. And I love the Amy Schumer. There we go. Amy Schumer um, joke where she's like, apparently these critics don't look up reviews. Because, yeah, what the... How the heck did Don't Look Up get any nominations? That movie was, I would say, less than decent. And it got, like, what, 10 nominations? How? How? That's a great joke from Amy. They apparently don't look up reviews either. Uh, Dune got nominated. They, I guess they don't look up reviews for that either. I don't really love Dune. Uh, Drive My Car, Belfast, Licorice Pizza, Power of the Dog, West Side Story, King Richard. Shout out to King Richard, man. It should be in there. Um, so yeah, Coda wins that. Best Actress, we got Jessica Chastain for the eyes of Tammy Faye, I believe. Um, and then we got Olivia Coleman was uh, nominated. Kirsten Stewart, that's good for her. Wow, never thought she'd get nominated for one of these. Nicole Kidman. Penelope Cruz, shout Penelope Cruz. Oh, uh, see, so yeah, that, that is the best uh, actress section that Jessica Chastain won, if I did not say that. All right, and then we got best animated movie. See, I care about this section. I think the best animated movie might be one of every year. It's like, 
I think most of the correct movies get nominated, if not all of them. So I appreciate this category. Uh, Encanto wins to beat out Luca Flea. Yes, Flea. I almost forgot what I wrote down. Flea, Mitchell's First the Machines, like that, and Raya and the Magic Dragon, or whatever. The, Raya and the Magic, yeah, Dragon, whatever. <laughs> whatever the title is, I just wrote down Raya. Um, is that the correct one? Probably. Raya was good, but Raya wasn't great. Mitchell's vs. the Machines was great to me. Maybe I'd give it to that. Um, Flea, uh, Luca, I didn't see, but I hear people love it, but it also was kind of, it was kind of low-key, went straight to streaming. And Encanto was low-key as well, but people love that. And it's got the hit song, that's a clear winner. Um, I'm not mad at it winning. Also some great animation, probably the best animation. Best animation, good songs, probably deserves to win. Best score, Dune wins. I'm not mad at this because Dune has a great score in it. Um, Encanto, what? I don't remember the exact score, but that's probably not too bad because there's good music in that. Uh, don't Look Up, that's really surprising. I'm really surprised Don't Look Up. I don't even remember the score in Don't Look Up, you know. Uh, that's a surprising one. Uh, Power of the Dog, okay. And then Madez, Perales, I forgot what I wrote down. Uh, but it's, it's like, something like that. Dune deserves it. I'm surprised some other things didn't get in there. I'm surprised. Well, I can't think of anything offhand because I can't. It's the morning and I don't care. But uh, out of the ones I see right there, yeah, Dune takes it for sure. Our best visual effects, we got Dune winning that again. That's a little surprising, but not too mad because the Dune visual effects are great. I wouldn't say that like they stand out and they're groundbreaking, but there was a lot of solid shots. Um, so that's good. Spider-Man was also nominated, Free Guy was nominated, uh, No Time to Die was nominated, and Shang-Chi was nominated. I low-key would give it to Shang-Chi or Spider-Man. I know there's an immense amount of visual shocks in that, uh, shots in that, and it's, in, it's, in, it's shocking how much they use it. Like, there's some scenes of that apartment scene where, you know, all the villains are gathering in Spider-Man and the apartment is completely fake. That's very impressive. There's like almost the entire movie of Spider-Man is CGI. I mean, there's CGI in the suit. They're filming it practically, and there's still CGI in all the suits. So all the, all the action scenes are CGI. There's plenty of parts where you know Peter's taking a phone call and he's on the side of the street, and they have part of the building real, and then they CGI the entire street, cars, people walking in the background, trees. It's like it's an insane amount of CGI in these Marvel movies. I feel a little bit too much, but I'm also impressed with how good it looks. It looks like real life, but it's also Getting a little crazy. Like, we're getting a little crazy, Marvel. Marvel, we're getting a little crazy, man. So I would give it to Spider-Man or Shang-Chi, but definitely not mad at Dune winning it. Like I said, I don't really love this Oscars, man. I feel like the movie's overrated. I feel like it's a lot of, like, a lot of handshaking and butt-kissing to get certain films in there. Like, how does Don't Don't Look Up get, you know, five to ten nominations or whatever? Don't know. Hey, thank you. This is my Oscars breakdown. This is my Will Smith, you know, Oscars breakdown reaction and all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out some other videos. I talk about movies. I talk about sports sometimes, too. And uh, remember, hey man, keep your Bible open, keep your Bible open, and uh, yeah, stay pure out here, and the world's getting crazier and crazier. Have a great day. God bless. And once again, Will Smith is starting the year off as a meme. It's a lot of meme stuff, a lot of, a lot of memes from Will Smith. Uh, he's keeping, he's keeping in touch. He's keeping in the, in the, in the cycle, in the, you know what I'm saying, in the zeitgeist, whatever.